Africa. My fellow South Africans, because we have a date with destiny. We have before a moment described so well by Winston Churchill when he said, There comes a moment in every nation where we are figuratively tapped on the shoulder and asked to do something great, something fitted to our talents. Democrats, I want to say this to you. This is our moment. This is our time. It is now or never. 
Let me begin by sending my deep condolences to all the families who lost their loved ones in the flood in KZN and parts of the Eastern Cape. It's always a genuine reminder of how close we are to the edge. And fellow South Africans, we can no longer ignore the effects and the red flags of climate change in South Africa any longer. But fellow Democrats, it is incredible to be here in Dobsonville with everyone that is here because it reminds me how far this beautiful party has come. When you look around you, you can see there's an incredible energy. There is a momentum that is coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It tells me always that the momentum is with us and we are ready to bring change. The DA is more bigger, it's much stronger, it's more diverse than ever before. We govern in more places. Amanda! But we are united here by a single mission. We are Our mission is whether you are black, whether you are white, whether you are Indian, whether you are colored, we are here to build one South Africa for all. Amanda! Africa Rona That here is the only party that you will find all South Africans. Otartola everywhere. Whether you are in Durban or Motopsi, whether you are from Chatsworth or Gokaltonville, whether you are from Motherwell or to Mitchell's Plain, I want to tell you, we are young, we are black, we are white, we are old, we are Christians, we are Muslims, we are Jews, we are gay, we are straight, we are women, we are all South Africans. We are in villages, we are in farms, on the summit almal, ke Africa rona ya rona ga You can go into any town. You'll find a DA person. Cuz we're turning this country blue. The future of this country is blue. And I want to say this to you to every single one of you. To all the activists who are here. To all the volunteers, to all the advocates for change, to our professional staff members, to all our public reps, to all the premier candidates, to all Team One South Africa for once members, I want to say to all the mayors, to the premier, I want to say thank you. Thank you for the thousands of men and women who put on their blue t-shirts every day. And to all our professional staff, you are showing the bravery that tells me who you are challenging the status quo. You are proving our opponents and you are proving the pollsters wrong. And I'm here to tell you, Hore, on Wednesday and Thursday, people are going to be like, oh, I, it is Monisile, Uti Peto, Oyeta, South Africa. Amanda! I want to thank you. You are the reason. We are, in fact, every person who wakes up in a DA government is because of your hard work. You are the reason we're going to bring change to the North Cup. Vast demands the money in North Cup. Yes. You are the reason we're going to bring change in Gauteng. You are the reason we're going to make sure we retain the Western Cape with an increased majority. You are the reason we're going to show the ANC for a two by eight. Oh. South Africa is ready for change. I thank you. 
And I want you to know, many years from now, generations will thank you and our country thank you. But it would be amiss of me. I want to thank my own family. They pay the price for the long distances, the road, and they are here today. KG, Daniel, and my wife. I also want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the protection. And fellow South Africans, on Wednesday we have an appointment with history. An appointment that we must honor because there's just too much at stake. It's a moment that comes around every five years where citizens are called upon to do something great. And I know South Africans, when I speak to them wherever they are, we are all worried about tomorrow. All of us. It doesn't matter whether you are black, whether you are white, whether you are young, whether you are old, you are worried what tomorrow will bring. You are worried, Hori, our country, what we are living in. One day, one day, South Africa. Too many people are worried for their own safety. It would feel. Hori, as a nation, we worry the most and we are concerned about tomorrow. I want to say to you, I share your worries. South Africa, I'm on we need now, in this moment, we know many of us are disappointed. We are disappointed because we feel let down. We feel like, Jorge, you know, those who are meant to deliver and protect our freedoms have let us down more than ever before. You can't help but feel. Can I lose both sometimes? For that generation of South Africans who paid so many sacrifices for our freedom today, who fought the struggle, I wonder by Kutwayang, Habasheva South Africa Kajeku, Kiabona Libone by Boza Hore, Bauvisa Chelete, they stole over 1.2 trillion rand. I'm sure those who fought for the struggle of this country are looking at this looting and are saying, aye, it was not worth it because Bagin is Oti. My fellow citizens, how do we live in a country when others are able to drive VIP vehicles? Just think exactly how different South Africa could have looked today had they not looted because of their greed. Just think about the children who go to school hungry. Have you ever been to school hungry? Do you know what it's like to sit in a classroom or snap roto when your teachers are looking at you and you are not sure whether there will be a teacher in that classroom or whether that union will make sure the teachers stay away from the classes of our children. Just think about our young people who are dropping out of school because they simply, when our girls can't even support their afford sanitary towels, you know South Africa is not delivering the future for all our people that we were promised. It truly, it truly pains me when I think after 12 years of schooling, many of our children will have very little to show for it. Half of them won't even get to matric. Their future has been stolen. I want you to think about the 57 South Africans who are murdered every single day in this country. I want you to think about those farmers and farm workers who are brutally killed. I want you to think about the 110 women who will report that they've been raped. And those are the ones who actually go to the police station to report the crime. 
It, it, it feels like most South Africa, the prisoners are the citizens. They are the ones who are locking themselves up at home. Marditso, they are walking around freely, but relaxed. But relaxed. I, I want you to think about Abo Mama Nabantua Mabaya Spezle, Labache, Lugut, Mabala Le Pants Abanya by Matini Gibafiang of four Abaz Utbaz of Onuto. I want you to think, you know, I want to tell you something. I know family members who are disabled, and I know what it would have been like if one of them would have ended up as one of the 144 mentally ill patients that was killed by this government. I want you to think about those who marched Komarikana and were killed at the hands of a government they thought they'd elected to free them, not to put them six feet underground. I want you to think about the men and women in our towns and our villages that simply cannot find a job. They are today over 10 million, and that number is growing up. I want you to think about the homes where how can I consume? I won't have rot, I won't have next because the people are only dependent on a sing, without a single income. They've got nothing to eat. Because at the end of the month, there's still a lot more month left. Four out of every ten homes in our country live like this. I've been to too many provinces. I've seen it. I've seen it in the corners. I've witnessed some of the best of our country on one side, and I've seen some of the worst. I've met incredible people who are committed to running businesses and are doing well, but I've also seen the despair that poverty brings. And I know I saw this in far too many places. La tek for your eats, la tek for tell. Yen dag was ek in Douglas en die Noord Kaap en ek sit met a ar met arme mense. I met a woman who was so hungry. I wasn't sure when last she ate, and I wasn't sure when was her next meal. And I'm here to tell you that the DA is here because if we don't bring change to this country, oh, yeah. that woman will continue to be hungry. My people, my fellow South Africans, too many of our people are living in poverty. Over 50% of our citizens are going to bed hungry. This is simply not good enough. We are living on borrowed time and borrowed money. And what you know about things that are borrowed is that they eventually run out. We will one day run out of diesel. They are putting diesel who keep us delayed. It's not fair like diesel. After the eight, it's a mayor. It's not well like a low chedi. And I want to tell you, South Africa, we are borrowing so much money that if we carry on growing at 0.8 percent, we're going to run out of money. What's getting worse is that life is getting hard for our citizens. I don't know about you, but VAT is going up. When you look at fuel. Hey, bau fitse kom ke ke ra gore le petrole ya khopoga ke ra re kenye diesel re fokotse petrole Ba I want to tell you we are in deep deep trouble It would be wrong of me not to warn you before the 8th of May because I'm tired of saying your side of the boat is leaking all of us are drowning. Fellow South Africans, what makes me even more angry is that the people we elected to lead us ended up looting from us. And what's most offensive, they steal from the poor, but then they steal from Nelson Mandela. 
They stole the money that was made to make life easier for our vulnerable citizens by Kenya Moripat and Sabo. The ANC were once leaders in the struggle for freedom, but today they are the ones who are standing directly in the way of the freedoms for millions of South Africans. They were once a movement, but I'm here to tell you, but today they are a monument, a relic of the past. They were once our liberators, but today we need to liberate ourselves from the liberators. My fellow South Africans, what's worse is that today they've even performed a magic trick. They've elected a leader who wants us to believe he only arrived today. He's only arrived to save us. In fact, it's so bad that he's shocked at everything he sees. I am here to say it's not time for a shock. He was there as deputy president when things were being stolen. He was there when Jacob Zuma and the Guptas, and he protected them with his vote, and he protected them. His name will be in the record of history, saying you were responsible when our people were being looted. He is the same man who never took action against people in his own party who were killing people in life, is it demand? This is the same man who, when the miners were marching, he said, take concomitant action. The following day, we were picking up miners buried on the ground because of the force of the police. This is the same man who watched Esko Amule Prasa, Ibulaiwa, while he was responsible of, in fact, fixing them. This is the same man who took a bribe from Busasa and allowed his money to be stolen through Busasa. Him and all of his friends have been working together. And what's worse, now he has a simple agenda. He wants to nationalize everything, health care, the Reserve Bank, people's pension, Basleg. They are now even organizing themselves in a new coalition and they are offering each other cabinet posts. I'm here to tell you, if you vote for that guy, you are voting for corruption and a merger with the other people. We are seeing it. He is no savior. He is not gonna help our country. He was part of the problem and I'm here to tell you, for these past 25 years, he has watched and presided over it, and now he tells the people, yes, we did steal, please forgive us, lend us another five years so we can steal some more. I am here to say, the shock you discovered when you were in trade is a shock you are about to experience on the 8th of May. Amanda! Fellow South Africans, we have a choice. This is that moment. We can either choose five more years of corruption and empty promises, or we can choose change. I don't know about you, but I'm choosing change. I'm here to tell you that I'm making a choice between yesterday and tomorrow. I am here to pick a future where every person in this country will know what freedom looks like. I am here to tell you only the DA can put a job in every home so that our people know what the dignity of a, of a job is. Because when you have a job, you can put food on the table. You can choose where your kid's gonna go. And I'm here to say, the only way we can make this choice is if we bring about change. And I don't know about you, I am choosing change. Amanda! We need change. And we need it now. But fellow South Africans, I'm here to tell you, here's the thing about change. Change is never easy. Sometimes it feels uncomfortable. Sometimes it can be scary. Change requires that we leave behind everything we've become used to and step into a place we've never been before and step into a road less traveled. And I am here to tell you that this is that moment. 
We are told that, that those who want power that we must fear change. Because if things change, it will paralyze our country. They lie to people, they say coalitions don't work. They say we mustn't tr trust each other because we are from different races or religion. They say the problem with this country is that race or that race. They want us to fear each other so that they keep things as they are. But I want to tell you, fellow South Africans, we are not listening to them. We are rejecting that. We're going to stand strong. We're going to stand united. We're going to charter a new way forward, a new way of hope, a new future as South Africa for. I'm here to tell you, today the choice is between fear and bravery. And if South Africans were not brave, I bet you apartheid would still be in place. But that's not South Africa. We are brave, and instead we're going to show courage and hope for change in this election. Our moment is right here, right now. And as Maya Angelou once said, that we delight in the beauty of a butterfly, but really, but really admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. If we want to undergo our own transformation as a country, so we build something better, something more beautiful, then we need to prepare ourselves for change. I want to tell you, change is normal. It's a necessary part of democracy. I told the people on the way, I said, I've never seen a baby change its own nappy. And I'm here to tell you that those other ones have got nappies that need to be changed, and only the DA can bring that change. I want to tell you, we are no longer in South Africa of 1994. Our country has changed. Some parties and all parties have changed. Some have changed for the better, and this is what I see before me, and some, they've changed for the worse. I'm really proud of the DA. I'm proud that you're a party that has grown every single election, and you have grown up in every election for the last 25 years, and we're going to continue to grow. We went, we went from a small party of opposition to a party of government. We've grown from 1.7% in 94. Today we govern for 16 million people. We govern in more metros. And after the 20, 2016 elections, people trusted us with government and we're bringing a new brand of clean, of honest government. I want to tell you, We've changed to become a party that reflects all South Africans. And we show the incredible diversity of the country. It doesn't matter what ward you are in. It doesn't matter what street you are in. You are bound to find somebody who is saying, I am DA, and I'm fighting for the rights of all South Africans. I'm telling you, people of this country, you will find us at the heart of coalition governments as we build a strong center for South Africa, free from the divisions of the past. The DA is the party that represents the future of this nation. We may not be perfect. I'm not saying to you the party is perfect, but I'm here to tell you we are honest and we have a plan that will completely reform this country, that will fix this country. I want to tell you, you know, they are even writing reports saying of the best municipalities in the country, 15 of them out of the 20 are run by the DA. Of the worst 20 municipalities, all of them are run by the Tsotis from the other side. I want to tell you, I want to bring change to this country. This is the change I want to see. This is the hope I hold on to. I want to reform our politics so that one day we can work together one into one goal. 
instead of retreating back into our separate corners. Dar selka parteye, wat se vet mense hirikan, and swart mense darikan, except for almal farhele, that claim so as apartheid, on souk yen nazi, yen South Africa. Africa will never not go fela, Amanda. If the rights of the minorities are going to be protected, they are going to be protected by the majorities. Because our project is no longer about freedom fighting. It is about freedom protecting and enhancing. I want to reform our economy so that we can break down the walls between the insiders and the outsiders. I want every home in this country to have at least have one job. That way, all South Africans will have the dignity of an income and they will know to put food on the table. I know people say to me, why one job? I don't want, I don't want to lie to you and say everybody's going to work immediately, but let's start with one. Because if one person in the home has a job, dignity can return to that house. I don't want, I don't want young people who become pensioners. Agreed on this government says, young people finish school, even with a degree, go stay at home, be a pensioner, and get a child grant. I'm here to say, no, let's put a national civilian program where for one year, young people can work and get an internship program. I'm here to tell you, I want a government that works. I want a government that's efficient, that's honest. Because I'm telling you today, the day who cannot president my man in South Africa, I'm going to cut this cabinet, make it much smaller, and make sure that SOEs will not bankrupt us. We are going to sell these SOEs so that we stop giving them money. Let's take the money and give it to the people and make sure a child grant goes from 400 to 800 at least. I want our provinces to have more power. I want our provinces to run the police. I want our provinces to run the trains so that people can know when you get on a train and a bus and a taxi, you've got one card that gives you access to all and the trains can run on time and our economy can run on time. I want it to be local because local is lacquer. When we get into government, I'm going to make sure that it's a new day for small businesses. But more than anything, I want to reform our society. Fellow South Africans, it pains me when I go on social media. You see, I want our people to live closer to work opportunities and so that we can break down the migrant labor system so that families can stay together and we can build a foundation. Yes, society, Saru. I really, I am a father of a young girl and I want for all the girls in our country to know they will finish school. I want our sisters to be able to go home and know they are safe from abuse. I want all of those who live with HIV and AIDS to know they're going to get medicine so that we get a universal health access. I want child grants to increase so that there will be food on the table and our people will know what hope is. Let's sell Brentirian. Let's sell the cabinet. Let's put money in the hands of our people. Amanda. I'm telling you now, when the DA comes in, we're going to cut the fuel levy so that we can help our economy and make sure our people can drive around knowing they've got money to spend. This is what this country will look like under a DA government. And I'm ready to say we are the government in waiting. 
I am ready to say we are ready to deliver this. We have grown. We are not teenagers. We are not Bamafigi Zolo. We are a party of government and we are ready to fulfill this role. I'm here to tell you the DA has changed. It has changed for the better and our future is together. But my people, we're going to need to be brave. This is not to be fearful. Fear tells you to say, let me stick with what I know. But we're going to need to be brave. We're going to need to do something we've never done before. And I want to tell you, sometimes being brave doesn't pay off immediately. But over a long period of time, generations will thank you. Let me take one hero in South Africa. Kasta Semenya is showing our people that she's brave. That even though they've put her to all kinds of humiliation, all kinds of suffering, she's remained strong. And I want to tell you one day in 20 years to come, we won't be discussing the IWAF. All we'll be saying, there was a Casta Semenya who ran a race, was brave, and now today, girls and women are able to run the same race thanks to her bravery. Our history is full of brave people who've paved the way for many others. I'm grateful for people like Helen Sussman, when everybody was saying to her, we are against you, but she was the lone voice in parliament and stood against all odds. I'm sure she was ridiculed, but she stood strong. I'm proud of Rosa Parks, who at the bus in Alabama in 64 years, she stood up and that changed American society forever. I want to tell you it takes guts to be one of the first ones to stand up. I know many of you are in families where people are saying, we will vote for what we know. But I'm here, you can be that brave one who stands up and you knows what I'm talking about. You can say to yourself, we're not going to weaken our restore. We're going to stand tall and we're going to let the world know we care about our country and we're going to choose change. We're not going to be guided by a fear that makes us stick to what we know. We're going to be guided by a hope for a better tomorrow. My fellow South Africans, my hope is in this country and our only hope lies with the DA. Forward, DA, forward. And I'm here to tell you, by choosing the DA, I don't expect your loyalty for life. I'm not even asking you to like me. You don't have to like me. Haki Arishela Nimu. Haki Runyale. Kirifela. I and this team that is here is capable to take this country forward for the next five years. Kasiso Faslata. And I'm telling you, we're going to do it in five years. It's not. After five years, when you get there, judge us, you will see. But this is a petto. If we do our job, lend us your vote for the next five years. If we don't, I will give you permission. Vote, ba vote. Fire us. But I'm here to say to you, your only government that's not involved, Libo Sasa. Libo VBS, the government are DA. Yeah. Oh. Your vote is your power. You got to use it, and you got to use it right. Your vote is not simply to express your race. Your vote 
is to simply say you're not there to express your race only, your religion, your culture. You are here to say you want a country, you want a future for your children. Your vote is here to say I'm sick and tired of the abuse of the past. I want to stand for this party. But our boats are one day. Lady, thank our freedom, ya lo. Barco pa barar ni brave. Barco pa barar keteng peto. I'm here to offer you a contract. This is the contract, and I'm asking for your vote in exchange. But I'm telling you, this is what the DA government is going to do. We are going to put an end to the corruption that has ruined our country and betrayed our people. Anyone who is corrupt, what wrong gong for 15 years? How little it is on mobile like what wrong gong? Bobo, okay. Don't send them to parliament, send them to jail. I'm here to say to you, we will put our country back onto a path of growth. Not 1% or 1.5, but proper, sustained growth that will bring millions of jobs and put a job in every home. We're going to cut the size of the cabinet by half, trim away all these luxuries that the ANC government has become too used to, so we can increase the child grant. Matatia bo ne kurban ne jaga di khosi afedi ne ke ba thoba rona ya no mbaba tla o bonang bo khosi bonna ya I'm gonna change our police so that our police are honest they are professional they are well trained they are highly motivated and they have the cars to fight the crime people will be safe in their streets and thotis will end up in prison I'm going to defend the Constitution so that against anyone who seeks to destroy it. I want our people to own homes, to have title to their own homes, to have the right. And the Constitution says, let's do it now. We don't need to change the Constitution. Ooh, we can wow. do it today. And Joburg, Chuan, Western Cape are already doing it. More people own homes, they own land, they own title, all within this Constitution. We're going to respect the rule of law. That means one rule for everybody. I don't care if you're the president. I don't care if you're the president's son. I don't care if you do Zan or Andile. I don't care. If you commit a crime, you can't Unlike this government, if you are corrupt, you go to prison, not to parliament. Yes. And I want to say to young people, Amanda, young people, Amanda. Amanda. I want to make sure young people will have a future in this country that they can fight for. It means we got to fix our education. We got to fight drugs. We got to fight gangs. We got to open every possible door for them. And I want to tell you, we will never, ever divide the people of this country on this race. We will return, never return to the days of us versus them. We will build a South Africa that is inclusive, that is united, that is strong. This is my contract to you. But in, con in return, I need your vote. My fellow South Africans, this is not a popularity contest. This is not about who looks like what and whether you like this person. I'm not asking you to marry me. I'm asking you to merely employ a government with a proven track record. I'm asking you, I'm up for the task. South Africa is complicated. If it's too difficult, I want to say to you, this is the only party that is going to prove that South Africa can work for all. But let us first prove it on Wednesday when we remove this government and put a job in every home. I'm here to tell you we can do it, we will do it, and, and trust us with your vote, Amanda. I know we can. I know we can turn South Africa around.
I know we can put a government that will implement our policies. I know without fail that DA governments in towns and metros have proven that we're the only party that actually gets things done. We're the only party that brings real change to the people's lives. We're the only party that is building a capable and an honest government. And we're the only party that is going to put a job in every home. That's all that matters when you go to vote on Wednesday. We have to choose hope. We have to be brave. We have to vote for our hopes, not our past. And I know it's going to be hard, but it is possible. I was once in that position before. But when I look back at the choice I made, it was the best choice I made to put the DA in power. We stand on the shoulders of those who turned against liberation movements and chose change. I want to say, and I want to ask everybody, come. I read a quote the other day that says, great things never come from your comfort zone. South Africa, this is our moment to step out of our comfort zone. We're going to look to the future now. And on Wednesday, we're going to make a brave choice on Wednesday. We want to think about our children when we vote on Wednesday. But above all, we're going to be brave and brave for our people. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy, but I'm telling you it's going to be worth it. Let us remove this government in Gauteng. Let us remove this government in the Northern Cape. And I want to tell you, we can nationally move this government if everybody turns out to vote for change. Let us write a new chapter of our future. Let us use our democracy for what it was meant to do. Punish the corrupt and reward a party that is working for all. Let us be brave and give change a chance. We all must turn out. And I'm asking South Africans, Arie, Sankomota warned us. They said, Uduzu Putile Matsoho, Africa, hi, hi. Orosevilen Tota Mahala, you are going to wait forever. Oshevile Banababang Baseveta, Arie, we can't go home, Riputile Matsoho. This is our moment, South Africa. This is a chance where we can stand with hope. Let us live and strive for freedom in South Africa, our beautiful land. Amurena, Abulukas Chavasayesu, Gosi, Sigeleli Africa, Hot Sien, South Africa. Let's live for freedom. Kialebuha, Mudimujo, Amanta.